in my hands I have undoubtedly, at least for me, the most exciting product of the year. And this is the DJI Air Unit 03. I'm super pumped for this product and for this video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'll share everything you need to know about the DJI Air Unit 03. I've been using it for the past month or so, and I think I have all the information necessary that I can give you so you can inform yourself whether you should buy one or not. But this is a pretty big deal. So first off, let's start with why I think this is such a big deal and why I think the Air Unit 03 is going to completely redefine the FPV industry as we know it. And of course, the main reason why is because of this camera right here. This camera shoots in 4K 60 frames per second, has a sensor size of 1 over 1.7 inches, it has a field of view of 155 degrees, and it has a DCNA-like color profile. Which means that this camera can not only be used as an FPV camera which sends the feed back to the goggles so you know where you're flying, but it can also be used as an action camera. A fully fledged action camera that shoots in 4K. On top of that, we have 20 gigabytes of built-in storage on the air unit itself, which of course also have an SD card slot. And you have Rocksteady, similar to the DJI Avada, you have Rocksteady stabilization, which you can enable or if you prefer, you can turn off that stabilization and use the gyro data that is being recorded on the air unit itself. So you can stabilize your footage yourself using a third party software such as Gyroflow. there are some compromises that you need to make since you're using the same camera for the FPV feed and also to record footage with. And personally, the thing that I have compromised with is that I've shot all the shots that you saw in the intro uh, in completely automatic camera settings. I only set the ISO uh, limit to be 200. So uh, this is kind of a little trick that you can do to set the maximum ISO to 200 or 400 if you want to. The 200 is the lowest value possible. And then it's up to the camera to decide what shutter speed it will be using. So of course, motion blur uh, will be a little bit harder to get with this camera, especially since we don't have any filters for this camera. So a little compromise is that at least me, uh, I have preferred to fly this camera uh, and use it in automatic camera settings. So I don't have to, to worry about not seeing where I'm going because if you set your camera to manual camera settings, it will be a lot harder to see if you are turning to a darker spot where there's less light, obviously, that will make it very, very hard to see what's going on. Other than that, the footage quality seems to be great when you have a lot of light. If you don't have a lot of light and it's a little bit cloudier, sometimes you have some muddy portions of the video where you have some blurriness, some you know, weird parts, uh, little artifacts that pop up every now and then. So it's not ideal for some cloudy situations, uh, but it's pretty, pretty good, uh, especially if you want to rely on it in great light, you can perfectly rely on this camera for getting some amazing shots with it because it gets the job done. Uh, and I would say uh, the footage quality seems very, very similar to, let's say the Osmo Action 3 or even the GoPro, but I will leave this topic for another video because I want to dive a little bit deeper to compare uh, the quality from the Air Unit 03 to an actual action camera. So stay tuned for that and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want to see that video. So now since you're using this camera as an action camera as well, it's more important than ever to mount it properly so you can avoid vibrations. Now this is the big topic here, uh, the vibrations that can occur if you don't install this properly on your frame. There are some frames that are not perfectly suitable for the Air Unit 03, and you can experience some problems if the camera is not perfectly stable, and if there are some jitters and vibrations going through it, there will be problems with the stabilization of the footage. 
DJI recommends this Air Unit 03 to be installed on frames that can dampen the vibrations on the camera itself as much as possible because these vibrations are going to go through that camera and will ruin the stabilization process of your footage. Uh, so it is a little bit tricky to find that frame that will work perfectly well with this Air Unit 03. So far, I have tried it on uh, my QAV-S frame and it was not ideal. So I had to use another frame, uh, which is currently not out yet. So I won't be able to talk about that. But uh, you need to be careful about the frames and the vibrations because it could be tricky to get those buttery smooth shots if the camera is not uh, dampened properly. Now on the back of the air unit, you actually have two antennas which come into one antenna mount. So it seems like the air unit uses one antenna, but that's not the case. It's two. They just go into one uh, general main antenna. And of course, the air unit itself is pretty small. I would say it's the same size as a Vista. It's definitely a lot smaller and a lot more lightweight compared to the original air unit. So that's a big step up compared to uh, what it was before. So now frames will be lighter. Everything will be a little bit tighter. And of course, that makes a massive improvement to the general flight time, especially if you don't put a cam uh, an action camera on top of the, the frame. It becomes a massive, massive difference uh, when compared to the total weight of a drone that has an action camera and the one that only uses uh, the Air Unit 03. So you can expect not only longer flight time when using the 03 Air Unit, but also the drone itself, since it's going to be lighter, will be a lot more agile, it will be a lot more nimble, and the whole flying experience will be a lot more different uh, compared to what you're probably used to if you are flying with a big battery and a big GoPro or a big action camera, they tend to be quite heavy on the frame, so they ruin the flight experience a little bit. Now with the Air Unit 03, especially if you only use that, uh, you will feel a massive difference in the flight characteristics of your drone. Installing the Air Unit 03 is a pretty straightforward job, especially if your flight controller comes with a plug for the unit itself. But if that's not the case, mine didn't have that exact plug, for example, so I had to use pliers to remove it from the controller and then I soldered 5 wires in total. 10 volts, power ground, signal ground, RX and TX. You can also solder the yellow cable to SBUS if you want to use the DJI FPV remote. And that's it. When talking about compatibility, of course, the new Air Unit works with the new DJI Goggles V2. But good news is that it also works with the DJI Goggles V2. The older ones, the bigger ones, they also will work with this Air Unit, which is a great, great news. And speaking about great news, the older Air Units and Vistas will also work with these Goggles right here, the new ones. So everything will be compatible uh, with each other pretty much, uh, but that will be unlocked a little bit later. I'm not sure about uh, the exact date yet, uh, but that will be unlocked via a firmware update, which will make it possible to use these goggles with the older air units and vistas. So if you don't want to upgrade all of your older quads to the new air unit, you can still use the new goggles with your older air units and vistas. That will be amazing to have, and it will come a little bit later uh, with a firmware update. The next thing I want to talk about is radios or remote controllers. And the Air Unit 03 works straight out of the box with this controller right here. This is the FPV Remote Controller 2. But if you want, of course, you can use a custom controller, the ones that FPV guys use um, all the time. So you don't have to buy this remote to use uh, the Air Unit 03, you can still use the same remote controller that you've been using uh, while flying FPV drones and just keep using that. And of course, you have all the flexibility to use uh, modules such as Crossfire, ELRS, whatever you want to use, you can use it. It will work fine with the Air Unit 03, but it will be much easier if you don't want to deal with that to just get this remote controller and just solder one more wire to SBUS so you can make the connection to uh, the FPV remote controller too. And it will work straight away without any uh, setup or anything. You just have to bind it, which happens in 10 seconds, which is really good. Now I'm looking at the prices of the Air Unit 03 and I want to quickly go through everything you need to know. So the Air Unit 03 itself costs $229 which is quite a good price in my opinion. The camera module only costs $109. 
the air unit transmission module costs $169. Uh, the antennas are $19 and the 3-in-1 cable is $9. So the total price of $229, in my opinion, is a massive, massive step in the right direction when pricing this product because it's a pretty low price for what you're getting. Think of it as a fully working action camera that you can put on each of your drones. And uh, of course, uh, if you have 10 drones, it's not a good financial decision but uh for 229 dollars you're actually getting quite a lot for your money the transmission system and the camera itself which you can use for recording your shots uh, um, in a perfect quality i would say and to me i think uh many people will go that way and completely ditch action cameras especially if you're not uh shooting for youtube or for commercial jobs for any any type of you know, big productions, you can still get away with only using the footage that you get from the Air Unit 03. It's that good. And I feel like personally, I would mostly use this setup for freestyle or for some sketchy flights where I'm not sure if I'm going to, to make it back. Um, for example, for some long range flights or for big flights over water, you can really like limit the risks by not putting a big GoPro or a big action camera on top of your drone and only using this um, in case something happens you will only use the air unit and of course the drone itself but it's uh, a far um, worse feeling to to lose a full drone with a GoPro or any other action camera on top of it so for some sketchy flying or for some long range flights where every gram really matters this will be amazing. When it comes to the single strength and the range of these units, I haven't noticed a massive improvement or any improvement whatsoever compared to the original air units. At least in my test, it performed pretty similar to uh, what I was getting uh, from the air units from before and also from the Vistas. So keep in mind, I am in CE uh, networks where the signal is a lot worse compared to FCC, where uh, the signal strength is stated to be up to 10 kilometers maximum, which is crazy. So I'm sure many people will be doing range tests and will do some, some comparisons between the older air units and the new ones, uh, myself included, so stay tuned for that. Now I want to quickly talk about my impressions of flying with the Air Unit 03 in terms of the DVR and what you're seeing inside the goggles, because this has been probably the, the biggest difference uh, for me. Of course, the footage that you're getting out of it is great um, and the weight savings, is that's also great, but the biggest difference to me is switching from the old air unit to the new one and that clarity that you're getting inside the goggles straight away um, even though the previous uh, air units were great this is just miles ahead and there are all sorts of little details that previously we we hadn't seen like small branches or small leaves that previously were a little blurry spot on the screen. Now you can see them perfectly. The addition of that small center point that shows you where the middle of your drone is makes it really easy to line up your shots. Uh, and at least for me is a small thing that I know uh, has been present before, um, but now it's a built-in tool that you have inside these goggles uh, and it's really easy and convenient to use. And speaking about OSD and components on the screen, we also have canvas mode available on these goggles right now, meaning that you can set up your screen and add elements on the OSD um, and get that information straight on the screen of the goggles. So that makes it really convenient. Finally, canvas mode is available on these goggles as well. So it finally feels like a fully developed system that works well within all the different components that DJI has to offer. Now you can use the Avada, you can use the O3, you can use these goggles, you can use the older goggles, and they all work with each other. Um, and they will also work with previous air units and vistas, like I mentioned, which is a great improvement, great, great 
update that we've been waiting for for a very long time. So final words about the Air Unit 03, guys. As you can see, I'm quite pumped about it. Yes, it has some problems when it comes to the vibrations that will occur if you don't mount this camera properly. And by mounting the camera properly, I mean use two bolts, two screws on each side and use a 3D print if you can to properly mount this camera to your frame. Not all frames are prepared to be used with the O3 air unit, so you need to be aware about that. But other than that, I feel like this whole setup here is just a massive win for DJI when it comes to the better quality that we have from the camera itself, the fact that you can use it as an action camera, uh, the smaller form factor of the air unit itself, the, the less weight we have, the better. You have 20 gigabytes of built-in storage. Uh, if you remember, if you, or actually if you don't remember to bring an SD card with you, all of these things make this a very innovative product that will take over FPV in my opinion, because with the price that it has and with the features and the performance, it is the best thing that you can currently buy if you want to have the best flight um, experience and the best quality possible. It's going to be this. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I have a lot more videos coming soon with the Air Unit O3 and also with some other cool stuff that we can talk about a little bit later. This is Mike from Drone Supremacy. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.